What's going on my Walter family? Welcome back. Today's lesson, we're doing GMAW gas metal arc welding and how to fill in big gaps. Now this is a lot of problem when you're working in a fabrication shop and you got to tack something up and it's a very big gap to fill it up all the way. So I'm going to show you different ways to fill up big gaps with uh, GMAW. I know I'm ready to burn, are you? Let's get to it. Two family, we have here two different plates. We have 3 8 plates and 3 8 plates here. Same plates, but uh, different gaps, okay? Um, a lot of the times when you're in fabrication shops, this happened to me when I used to work in fabrication shops, uh, sometimes you don't get the best fit. And we're using GMAW today because that's what uh, I worked on. And a lot of times, if you're gonna pad big gaps, you're gonna use uh, GMAW. So, um, yeah, so what we have here, like I said, I have about, whew, for about a about an inch gap here and about a half an inch gap here and sometimes you're going to get that so I'm going to show you ways of how to fill up these gaps and the first one we have here is padding okay so what I'm going to do here is kind of just I'm running at 17.0 volts and about 195 on the wire speed and so what I do is I literally drag the first bead on this side then I drag one on this side Essentially, I keep doing this all the time until it puddles up all the way so I can connect, okay? You want to run hot because if you run hot, like a 19 volts or 20 volts, it's going to drip, drip, drip. You want to run cold, okay? Now, keep this in mind, guys, okay? This is not going to be x-ray. You know, a lot of the times they understand they just, you're going to bubble gum it and then just weld it out clean. Sometimes they don't, they don't really care what it looks like. They just want it done, okay? So... I've had times like, hey man, just weld it out. You got an inch and a half gap, just weld it out. I don't care what it looks like, just weld it out. At the end of it, let it be a consistent bead on your cap. I don't care what the inside looks like. Sometimes you're gonna have uh, things like that. Sometimes you might have an inch gap and it might be uh, x-ray, you don't know. But at the end of the day, for GMAW, it probably won't. So you're gonna pad it, pad it, pad it until it gets to a certain point and then you're gonna connect it, okay? And then go ahead and weave it out, all right? Uh, now for the filler rod, I have a 532 ER70S6. Uh, now the reason why I have a filler rod and padding because sometimes in, in uh, fabrication shops and MIG especially, um, you're not going to have no ER70S6 if they don't do any TIG. So you're going to just have to pad it out, pad it out, pad it out and connect it. But if you're working with MIG and TIG, um, say hey look I have a big gap, it's alright. You know there's Texas TIG and there's a Texas MIG as well. Um, you know, we're going to use uh, MIG and TIG together, and this is ER70S6 uh, MIG wire, okay, ESOB wire, and then also using ER70S6 filler wire, and then you use it, put it in between the gap, right here, okay, and you can literally just walk it and, and burn that gap in, right, or you can freehand it and just kind of just connect it, connect it, okay. This is a faster way of doing things. I recommend with the filler rod, but if you don't have that, you just pad it, pad it, connect, okay? Again, this is kind of like an intro, but also intermediate uh, welding, uh, because a lot of the times you're not gonna know what to do when you're gonna have to have a big gap like this and you don't know how to connect or anything like that. So I hope this tutorial helps you out. I'm gonna go ahead and start welding and uh, show you the padding first, connect it, go all the way out, and then the filler rod all the way out. Then after that, I'm gonna flux core it all the way so it can look consistent on the cap, but I'm not gonna show no arc sauce on that because this is mostly MIG. Uh, tutorial. All right, guys, let's do it. I forgot, guys, a very important thing. Uh, when we're going to do the padding method, make sure not to be welding it straight like this, all right, because gravity is going to play and you're adding uh, metal on the thinness of this plate and it's just going to drip, drip, and drip. You want to favor the thickness of the plate so it can stay on there. The molten metal can stay on the plate and it can add and add all the way through, okay? Make sure you're like that, even on this side. If you're coming this way, make sure you're favoring these, uh, the thickness of the plate. Don't favor the bottom. Don't be like this, coming like that, because it's gonna drip every single time. So you're just dragging and make sure to watch the puddle. Make sure you watch the behind of the puddle where it's at, because uh, you wanna see it evolve and get bigger. Favor the thickness of the plate. All the way. Watch that puddle, watch that puddle. Don't let it get too hot that it's gonna drip. All 
the way. Make sure you're favoring the thickness of the plate. Make sure you're angling that, that gun upwards. I'm running at 17.0 volts and 195 on the wire speed. Right after this, I'm going to connect it. Again, it's not going to be pretty, but you're just trying to connect it so you can move on from production. There you go. There it is. And I'm doing that all the way through. Now, this is the uh, the slower way of doing it, okay? I recommend getting a filler rod or even a hanger. You can also get a hanger as well. If you got a leftover hanger, you can burn that as well. It's not going to be pretty, but you're just trying to fill in the gap. So a boss tells you, right, he's like, hey, Han, I need you to fill up that gap. Well, I don't know how to. It's not going to look good. He's like, all right, Han, I got you, Han. All right, guys, so that's padding right there. You know, I padded, I padded, and connected and just weave it out with MIG. Like that big gap was never there. So again, it's not gonna be pretty guys. You're just trying to connect it, get that big gap, you know, fill it up already. So that's that. Now I'm gonna go on to with the filler rod, the easier way. All right guys, so I did the padding kind. Um, that one's just if you don't have any filler rod, right? But if you do, or if you don't have any filler rod, but with the padding, you can also use a hanger, like a, a regular, you know, um, bronze hanger or whatever the case may be uh copper hanger but uh for the filler rod it's super simple for this one all i do is if i have a one inch gap or whatever the case may be i literally take the filler rod and i tack it here and i tack it over here so literally the filler rod is just there and all i'm doing is just weaving it side to side burning the filler rod together so it's way easier instead of you trying to go big old weeds when you have a filler rod you can use to burn it, all right? It's ER70S6 and ER70S6, so that's the good part. Again, I'm just, I'm gonna tack it right here, tack, tack. Literally, the rod's gonna stay still. And if you have a big old gap, right, right? Say if you have a long seam, boom. You can add that filler rod there, tack it, tack, and just weave it side to side over the gap, all right? But uh, again, it's not x-rayed, it's not none of that. They're just trying to, Hey, Han, I need you to fill up this gap. We gotta get it out of here. So, this is what it is for. I'm just going side to side. Bring it on each wall. Don't mind the spattering, just. Filling up that gap. Make sure to spend time on the walls. All the way up. way much easier instead of padding it, you know, way less time. Spend time on the wall, don't spend time in the middle. You spend time in the middle, it's gonna drip. I go fast to the middle, 
Spend time on the side. All right, so again, way easier. It's not perfect. I'm telling you guys, it's not supposed to be. It's just to fill up that gap, all right? Just like that. So right now, what I'm going to do is just flux core it out so it can look very presentable. You know what I mean? They're going to probably tell you, hey, MIG it, MIG that big gap up, and then flux core it out so it can look good on the cap. But uh, we're not going to get no arc shots of that. Just, just padding, filler rod. Hope this tutorial helped you out, all right? There you have it. How to pad and how to use a filler rod on big gas with GMAW. I uh, hope this tutorial helped you out. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down low. And you can follow us on all the social medias. Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, all at World2. I appreciate it all y'all. God bless. Remember, burn, learn, and eventually y'all gonna earn. Peace.